This tree is a Port Orford cedar. The name Port Orford comes from the small town on the southern Oregon coast. The scientific name for Port Orford cedar is Camacypris lawsoniana. We're going to take a closer look to see how to identify it. First you'll notice it has a very frond-like or fern-like texture. As you go closer, you'll see that it has flattened sprays. If you look close, Camacypris lawsoniana has scale-like leaves and they're in opposing pairs in a decusset arrangement. The upper surface of the flat sprays is green, uh, but if you flip it over, there's a distinct pattern of white X's of stomatal bloom on the underside of the spray. To see this, you're gonna have to compare the top with the bottom until you can see those X's. The leaves are very small and the texture is really fine in Camacypris lawsoniana compared to some of the other false cedars. Looking at the cones, looking on the ground is always a good place to look for cones. Um, the cones of Port Orford cedar are small. Hold this up. Only about the size of a pea. When they start out, all the scales are closed and it really does resemble a pea or a juniper berry. But then when it dries out, it becomes sort of gray in color and it pops open, looking sort of like a, a jack. Um, each of these scales is peltate, which means shield-like. And that's how you identify Port Orford Cedar.